at Under the Bridge Studio. Uh, the theme is uh, The Wonder of Women. We have a, a very good selection of artwork from a group of women that come from Chicago, from Wisconsin, and from Indiana. So uh, this is a piece from, uh, she actually got her P uh, master's degree. Her name is Rochelle Royster, and uh, she's a painter also, but she also is a, a teacher. And, um, and these are on wood, and these pieces are from another teacher. Her name is Mary Sherman. And um, this is a quilt made by a good friend of mine. We decided to do something different. I always ask the women, whatever they make, whatever they want to put in, if there's no theme. This is, uh, these works, works are from uh, a woman who owns a, a restaurant in the neighborhood. She loves to paint, and so I asked her to please bring out her work because she was roses? very shy. This rose, these are roses. Okay. Uh, Rosalva Zava, uh, uh, Zavala. No, Rosalva Zavala, right. You ready? And this is my friend Jacqueline, who I met a year ago, and she uh, loves showing with us. I remember this one on the left. Uh -huh. uh, this particular piece is on wood. My friend survived the fire and lost everything in the fire. These, these, pieces, these pieces right here, okay, they're on uh, wood. You can smell the wood. And she loves working with the knot in there. And so this actually is going to be, it's the girl on the, a great journey. She's actually writing a book, and this is part of, of her series. Did you say this, there was a fire? That... She had a fire, and uh, everything got ruined except for certain pieces of work. But she painted these. Um, I don't know when, but this is for a book. Okay. You can smell it. The fire. On the remnants, smell so. the rever uh, the remnants of a fire in there. Okay. Like, oh. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna walk over here. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Okay. These are in Spanish. It's called migajon. In English, it is called bread art. All these paintings here. Uh, this is life and death. This is uh, the tree of life, and this is. In the eye of the behold, and it's all bread art. Her name is um, Je Jenny Mata. Uh, this is a friend of ours. She's from Wisconsin. Her name is uh, Laura Gomez. This is called Moroccan Nights up here. And it's about the trafficking of women in another country. And if she could, if she could, she'd, she'd have it moving to jingle all that stuff up there. Mm -hmm. This is an artist. She's a photographer and poet. She's a young woman. Um, she loves to take photography from all over our, our city. This actually is in the U.S. Steel. Um, Thank you. That's good. Mm -hmm. These two are uh, pastels, and they are self-portraits of a woman I met about two years ago, Ellen Trishner. Trishner. And... Uh, it, she was kind of like, what are, gee, their bodies and stuff. I go, it's women, your work. So I said, I'll take it. Question. Um, yes. Are there labels of the artists with the I, I am putting them on. Okay. I'm running a little late. I'm this is a friend of mine by uh, unusual coincidence. Uh, I met, uh, I went to pick up some work on the west side from another friend who showed last year. And so she goes, oh, I want you to meet a friend of mine. And it happens to be, I know her. Her name is Adriana Rivera. And she said, oh, Mari. I said, she's a jewelry maker, and I had no idea she's a painter. But this particular painting in particular I like is, is she's waiting. And so she said to me, I go, what do you mean by that? There's a doorway and a long walkway. And she says, we always wonder as women, how far can we go? We wonder, wonder, and we have the keys. We hold the keys to our destiny, which I thought. Mm -hmm. And then when we find our destiny, there's the butterfly, free. These are two of my works. I, I have an idea to do a new piece, but I said, let me put some other work that I had. I think this piece I made a few years back that's called Only in America, and I feel it deals with what's happening now with a lot of immigration with our country, so it fits for me. And this particular one is where uh, 
as a young girl, like in their teens, how they realize they're going to be a grown woman and they bloom. That's what this is. You're beautiful as a rainbow. This is a new fellow artist of mine. Her name is Beatrice Colon. And actually, when you look at it, you really have to study it. And she comes from Puerto Rico. And she turned around and this is actually, slaves were in uh, Puerto Rico and actually someone that swam the water and they're reaching up to, to save themselves. It's pretty deep, pretty deep. This is uh, another young lady I met. This is about her grandmother. It's beadwork. That's her grandmother and she paints. It's her first time showing and I said, sure, you could show. Her name is um, Minerva. Minerva. Okay, and um, we are going this way. Okay? This is Pasia. I'm sorry. This is my friend Mirna. Mirna. Okay, Mirna. This is uh, Montserrat Moran. I met her last year. This is a digital print. Was she in the show last year? She 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 painted a Frida Kahlo on canvas, and she I sold it for her. I the name is familiar. I thought so. Yes, and so she gave me this a digital print, which is cool. She wanted us to be in um, all the shows we show. This is a uh, Roby Nider. She is uh, that's a digital print, I think. She painted it by computer. It's something different. She's a photographer, so she's playing with the computer. I think we met her last year too. Mm -hmm. I think this is a Pilsen artist. Her name is Teresa, and she. Um, she just came back from Dubai. She did a very beautiful uh, piece out there on a restaurant that they, they called her out there. She had a great time. So she gave me these two pieces that deal with women. This is my friend Steph Skills. She's a Northside artist. She comes from Pilsen, this lady here. This young woman is a graffiti artist. She comes from the, from the north side. And that means water is life in uh, Lakota up there. Mini walk. This is a uh, Rosanna, uh, Rosanna Mark Andreu. Um, this is a, a watercolor print. That up there, we have two pieces of art. That up there is from Jade Garcia. That she's a young, uh, young lady wanting to break out into the art world. And this young lady also, this is Katerina. No, this is one artist, and this is another. Oh, okay. So we are going this way, Kevin. Mm -hmm. This is this entire walk we dedicated here. This is uh, Claudia Charo. She comes from Mexico. And I met her, and her work is exquisite. These are oils. And I've, she doesn't have a title for this, but to me it's like uh, the tree of life mm -hmm. bursting with life with the woman coming out. Mm -hmm. But she eventually will give me the title. These four deal with uh, um, air... Water, water, air, fire, and wind. They're very, very detailed work. So that's quite beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was, I mean, Christ, she gave me up a little. I like that. This is a friend of mine. This is called At a Loss. Um, this is a Maria Vargas painting. And then this one down here, it is a... Uh, Star Padilla. She is in Hawaii and she had her mother uh, give it to me. And it deals with the woman, uh, a mirror image, that's what it's called. Was she here last year? She, she actually sent her stuff from Hawaii that yeah. I had up for uh, the last show. I and so then, the whole yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, <laughs> those came from Hawaii, but this was at home, so she said I can have use it for the show. Yeah. And and that's about it. It's a small show, but I'm very, I appreciate all the beautiful work that uh, these women have gave to show this side of town because this is what we're trying to do uh, show our side of town the east side the far southeast side that you know a little bit of uh, art that we don't have to go super north that we're here on the south side southeast side so the show opens tonight it opens so. tonight from five to ten uh you can call my number uh if you see it on facebook and uh i will i don't i don't have a problem opening it opening the place for a show. It will be up for how long? It will be up for a month. Okay, good, thank you. I want to introduce my friend Yolanda Dianda because she uh, is a very, very 
interesting woman. <laughs> she does a lot. So she's going to give a, a, small, a small speech. A short one. A short one. Hello. 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 Good evening to all. My name is Yolanda Deanda, and Maria and I go way back a little bit. Roman really goes really way back. Yeah. Um, I am so pleased that this art studio has been very successful to our community. It is an anchor to our community. But we're here to honor the art exhibits of women. Why women? Well, first, this is the month, Women's Month, so we're taking uh, International Women's Day. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday, yes. And so we want to, dis uh, to recognize the women that do artwork tonight. But women of this month is not just women in arts, it's all women. It has been over 100 years since women have changed their roles. The role of a woman at one time was only daughter, wife, and mother. And that was the role that she was supposed to look for and try to succeed. And if she didn't get married, she continued to be a daughter or a mother figure to extended family. But today, women no longer have that role alone. We have many other roles. And why? Because we have been recognized for being creative, for being intelligent, for being absolutely more than we were ever supposed to be. And if you were complicated in 100 years ago, we were sent to a mental institute because we weren't supposed to be complicated. We were supposed to be complying. So today we find women are complicated. And that is because we come from all different areas. We do much more than being just daughters, mothers, and wives. And when you see the artwork around here today, you see the creativity that women have always had, but never were supposed to brag about it or show off about it, because you would do it in silence. You would do it alone in your home, embroideries, uh, knitting, even drawings. You hid them. You didn't show them because you weren't supposed to do that. You were not supposed to be tinkering with mathematics because you didn't know anything about science or mathematics. You didn't have to worry about the finances of your home. Well, today, most women do the finances in their home. Men just bring the bacon and women know how to fi fix it up. Most women today probably do most of the accounting than their husbands do. Mm -hmm. And that's great because we're partners to our men. We're partners to any uh, equal partner that we have. And that is why to this month and in this place today, we are honoring the women and their artwork because we are showing off the creativity of a woman. Thank you. And our many If you have not seen practice, so the movie it. Suffragettes. Thank you so, well. so you. much. My family, my grandmother, my mothers, my aunt, my mother and my aunts, mother singular, were in the United Kingdom at the time, in Great Britain. And uh, it's a horror story that was equal, equal, I'm sure, to exactly the horror story that was running in this country at the time. So if you don't, haven't seen it, it's worth seeing. Mm -hmm.